Welcome everyone, it's the top of the hour, so we'll get started. I'd like to welcome you to today's GlomCon seminar series. The talk today is Precision Medicine and Lupus Nephritis, and we're excited to have Dr. Dawn Castor. I'm excited to be here today. I wanna to thank um, the members of the audience for sharing part of their weekend. I know people come in from all over the world, so uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's here. Okay. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started. I, um, uh, and again, I'm so happy uh, for those of you to be here um, on on a weekend um, to uh, listen to to this talk. Um, I'm going to be talking about precision medicine and lupus nephritis, and uh, specifically the the work um, that I've done in collaboration with others over uh, the last decade. Um, here are my disclosures. Uh, the learning objectives are fairly broad. Um, I'd like to identify current diagnostic and treatment gaps in lupus nephritis, discuss current and experimental biomarkers in lupus nephritis, and also provide examples of how biomarkers may be utilized for precision medicine in lupus nephritis in the future. So first, um, I know I'm speaking to uh, nephrologists, nephrology trainees and researchers. Um, so I probably don't have to emphasize it um, as much to this audience, but of course we all know lupus nephritis carries a huge disease burden. Approximately 50% of patients with systemic lupus develop lupus nephritis. And up to 30% of patients with lupus nephritis will progress to end-stage kidney disease over their lifetime. Um, complete remission, even with all these wonderful new therapies that we have, uh, still occurs uh, less than 50% of the time uh, with uh, standard therapies. Uh, these are some cases to wake you up um, if it's morning for you. Um, these are um, not my patients, full disclosure, um, but they're all uh, celebrities. You can see Selena uh, Gomez, Tony Braxton, and Nick Cannon. Um, all three of these uh, celebrities suffer from uh, lupus nephritis. I always like to throw this slide up, especially when I'm teaching uh, medical students, because um, the faces of uh, lupus nephritis are often um, young, and um, these patients often look healthy. Um, and despite you know looking healthy on the outside, uh, they have a horrible uh, disease process on the inside, and we. Um, probably are all aware that Selena Gomez had such severe disease that she had to go on and get a kidney transplant. Um, of course, uh, this disease primarily affects uh, women. So nine out of 10 patients with lupus are women of childbearing years. Um, but um, when it does occur in men, uh, they can have a much uh, more severe disease. So what is precision medicine? Uh, it's a buzz term we, we use quite a lot. Um, and this is uh, one way that the NIH defined it. Um, and I really like this uh, definition. So it's an emerging approach for disease treatment and prevention that takes into account individual variability in genes, environment, and lifestyle for each person. And how can we apply precision medicine to lupus? Well. Systemic lupus is a very complex disease uh, that involves multiple factors. So genetic, environmental, immunoregulatory, hormonal, epigenetic factors all lead to loss of tolerance, the development of autoantibodies, immune complexes, um, which then uh, lead to cytokine uh, production and uh, more inflammation that eventually um, causes end organ damage in multiple organs. Um, and of course, we'll focus on the kidney. So the pathogenesis of, of lupus nephritis, as I said, is similar to lupus. Um, it's a combination of uh, genetics, um, hormonal, infectious, environmental triggers, um, leading to loss of immune tolerance. Um, additionally, um, uh, gene variants um, can promote persistently active um, auto-reactive clones and or organ susceptibility uh, leading to this vicious cycle of autoimmunity and organ damage. Um, uh, lupus nephritis clinically is uh, characterized by different classes um, based on where the immune deposits are. So we have classes.